Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Dr. Jahangir Khan, and today I'm going to uh, explain one of the random MCQ with the function of uh, and the purpose of my videos are to clear such kind of MCQs. The in, not me MCQs, these are the uh, just like a mathematical MCQs 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. But the problem is in the physiology MCQs in which they can trust your concept, in which they can trust you, uh, the, the, the stem, in which they can trust the, the option. So, over here, uh, a 49 year man has a pulmonary embolism that completely blocks blood flow to the, his left lung. Now, there is completely shut off of blood to the left lung. There is no blood towards the left lung. We know that this is pulmonary trunk and this trunk is divided into two pulmonary artery. So this is your right, this is left. So you are having embolism over here. Blood flow to the left lung is completely cut off. Now what, what they are asking is the result which of the following will occur? What will occur? Ventilation perfusion ratio in the left lung will be zero. Now we know that ventilation perfusion ratio is V by Q. So if there is blood flow is equal to zero so over here the q is zero so anything divided by zero becomes infinity anything divided by zero becomes infinity so a option is wrong it is not zero it is infinity point number one systemic arterial po2 will be elevated now if the blood is not coming through the lungs the left lung this is left lung this is completely blocked there is no oxygenation. How can you expect the increase in oxygen in blood when you are having no blood flow in the left lung? So the systemic arterial PO2 will be significantly dropped because there is no oxygen coming toward the toward the blood. If there is no oxygen coming toward the blood, what happens? The concentration of oxygen in the alveoli. Suppose this is alveoli, it increases. So B is wrong. Weak EO ratio in the left lung will be lower than the right lung. Now, the weak EO ratio, that is the V by Q. In the left lung, it is equal to Q is 0. That is infinity. Infinity means a very huge number which you cannot write. <coughs> Your screen is very short for that number to be written. That means infinity, unlimited. So this means the weak EO ratio of the left lung is infinity as compared to the right lung. That is a very huge amount. That is very very high in the left lung as compared to the right lung. That is wrong. The D option, alveolar PO2 in the left lung will be approximately equal to the PO2 in the inspired air. Now over here, if this is your alveoli and this is the blood vessel, if this is blocked and there is no oxygenation, so the amount of oxygen that you are inhaling that and the oxygen in the alveoli, that is approximately equal. The oxygen concentration of the inspired air and the oxygen concentration inside the alveoli that is approximately equal because the oxygen concentration in the alveoli drops when it diffuses out in the blood but when there is no diffusion it 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 is not moving it is not moving to the blood vessel what happens the oxygen concentration in the left lung is approximately equal to the oxygen concentration in the inspired air Alveolar PO2 in the right lung will be approximately equal to the inspired air? No, because in your right lung, the oxygen is moving out to the blood. If the oxygen is moving to the blood, it means the oxygen concentration in the alveoli is low. And that is a diffusion, and that is a diffusion pressure. You are having low pressure in the alveoli and high pressure at the top in the inspired air that allows the oxygen to come down. So the oxygen concentration in the alveoli of the normal lung will be less than the amount of oxygen in the inspired air. So over, the, over here, the right option is the option D. The alveolar PO2 in the left lung will be approximately equal to the PO2 in the inspired air. So <clears throat> if you want such MCQs to be discussed, there is no limitation of the, of, the, of the book. You pick my concept. I have explained these MCQs in SK Gaini Pink. I have explained these types of MCQ in the uh, SK 10. Each MCQ is explained with concept there is no limitation of speciality whether you belong to gyne you belong to dharma you belong to radio the mcq bank of the fcps is the same <coughs>
there is only shuffling of the mcqs so if you know the concept you know the 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 the, the mcq and you retain that mcq for a very long time and you can easily clear the fcps part first fcps part first exam is nothing it is just a slight twisting of your concept the anatomy mcqs and uh, uh, usually the anatomy mcqs that remain the same the main problem is actually the physiology mcqs and the main purpose of my video are to explain physiology mcq you can you can watch my uh, references on my facebook page <coughs> that is fcps purpose by better rajangir han and you can watch all the videos on my youtube channel and uh, the purpose of this video is just to make sawab and this is uh, actually uh, there is no purpose of money because i can earn thousands of money uh, if i start writing the book but the purpose is to keep the thing clear make your concept clear and inshallah you will be able to clear the fcps purpose thank you for watching